the largeness of our being. I like to say that the largeness of my beingness. Not that this beingness is smaller or less than, but opening it up to something larger. Because boy, does this journey sometimes feel big and heavy, right? Burdensome. But no matter what is happening, there is always something larger. <clears throat> and I don't have to always know the, the details of it. But what's mine to do is show up for it. I was thinking about this morning, like, wow, there were times this week that I could have, like, checked out. And boy, I probably sometimes wanted to, but I didn't. I was looking at this this morning. What am I going to talk about? <laughs> what am I going to talk about? Oh, right. I'm speaking for service. <laughs> I realized I was open to the part of me that never dies that knows wisdom and energy and perseverance, steadiness to the nth beyond my human capacities. And when I'm open to that, then my human capacities can be guided by that, energized by that. Someone this week, I had a meeting with someone at the ranch, some things that were meeting and they were like, how do you not crack? what they were like i cracked last week and i thought of you a lot and like you hold way more than me and you don't crack you like you're still happy and joyous and joking and i'm like oh there are times i want to crack mm -hmm. you know there are times trust me and yet and i was like yeah why because sometimes i forget how much i'm holding i'm not trying to be boasting of what i hold and stuff but you know I'm just like, why? <laughs> I'm actually looking at it. Because I forget sometimes how much I'm holding, how much I'm meeting. And so I responded, I thought about this, and I said, you know what? I, it's my spiritual practice. It's continuously coming back to the largeness of my being. Then I can let go of ownership and an expectation of all the things I'm holding, all the things that could crash and fail and what are, or maybe have, and I have to fix, <laughs> whatever it is. So then it's not on my heart. It's not on my shoulders. It's, it's there. Because the answer, the wisdom, the strength, never dies. It only stops if I stop it to come through me. And I don't like that feeling when I do that. I've done that before. And I do that when I start um, being a victim. And boy, I can I can easily go there. We can all easily go there, I'm sure. How come me? Why don't others? Why don't I? Why this? Why is this person? Do that. that. How come this situation? Oh, boy. The shouldas and how comes and all these things. That's when things start blocking. That's when we we stop tapping into the largeness of all that is. So I'm thankful for the opportunity to share really raw, fresh um, realization from this week and this morning with you. And to share my gratitude to be on this journey with all of you. Knowing that there's a larger outworking. And I'm thankful for all that, everyone that, what, what you're all contributing to that larger outworking as best we all can. So thank you for that. <laughs>